What's up guys, your boy Darkskin. Now like I said in my previous video, I'm gonna be pretty much showing you guys how you can beat this mission. Now I know I'm taking a couple of busted units, but I'm gonna tell you like my, my um, thought behind this team. Don't think I'm just bringing busted units, that's how you beat it. All right, so uh, I'm only bringing Killer B because he has healing. So like that, that's the only reason why I'm bringing him. You can bring any other unit. You can bring Six Pack Naruto. You can bring PvP Sonata. You can bring anybody else. I'm only taking this Killer B because he has 500 healing attack. That's it, right? Now, like I said in my last video, you want to pull for moderate. You want to get moderate. Now, the good thing about this is you only need one moderate. You don't need any dupes. I'm not gonna dupe stone him or nothing. You need zero dupes. The reason why is because if you bring your moderate, not a friend, but if you bring yours, you get a boost. Now, what that boost is, uh, right now, it shows 25 to 30% incre uh, increase for your damage reduction, right? That goes to 50 to 60% damage reduction whenever you're doing the mission, which I'll show you when we get in the mission. And then the multiplier is 5 and 6.5 times attack, 16.5 and then 19.5 times attack. That goes all that goes up a much higher whenever you're doing the mission. You see that red box around my Madara? That's what that is. Now I'm bringing this Madara because his uh, field skill is damage reduction. So pretty much I'm gonna have damage reduction from my Madara, my second Madara, and this third Madara. I'm gonna have dumb damage reduction. I'm not gonna take um, near as much damage. Now I'm bringing six path Naruto because this Madara already has 20% dodge. Naruto's gonna give him 40 or 45% dodge because he's adding on 20 to 25%. I forgot which one. Now I'm also bringing this Sasuke simply because he um, heals 300 a turn when he's in the back. So I'm only bringing Sasuke and Killer B for healing. I'm bringing Madara, Six Path Madara, and Six Path Naruto for the dodge and damage reduction. And I am also bringing um, these two Madaras. These, these two Madaras are a must. I'd say everything's a must. To do it exactly how I do it, except for Sasuke and Killer B. Now, um, you obviously can bring other units that do damage reduction. You don't have to bring a moderator yourself. You could bring, um, you could bring like anything else. But I'd say rec I, I'd recommend uh, summoning for a moderator and then getting him because you are the only one that can get the boost. This moderator doesn't get the boost. So uh, let's go ahead and get into the mission. I'll show you guys everything how to do it play by play. So. Alright, so now that we're in the mission, what you want to do on the first map is you want to kill Killer B, stall on Naruto. The reason why is because Killer B is the one that's going to be doing all of the damage. Naruto will just auto attack every time. You, you know, auto attacks are fine. You want to kill um, this Killer B. That's what you want to do. So, um, I'm going to save my Madara ults. I'm just going to attack with these two. Uh, now I'm not gonna ult with Madara because uh, with well, Six Path Madara because he attacks everybody, which isn't really good. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and go up here. Killer B should attack. Okay, one again. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, Naruto just auto attacks every time. So now I'm gonna do this. And the reason why I'm gonna do that is because I'm gonna generate some chakra for my uh, Madaras. Boom. Get some chakra for them. And then I'm going to use Sasuke to generate chakra. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring Sasuke here so that he can counterattack Killer B's attack. Yeah, so now my moderator has his ult. We can go and ult with uh, this moderator. And then we got to wait one more turn for the other moderator, but it's fine. I, like I said, you want to keep Naruto alive. You want to keep Naruto alive. See, so now that he's dead, you can just stall. Uh, we can actually bring him up here. Um, who are we gonna stall? We're gonna stall with uh, Six Path Moderator because he. Um, okay, we'll keep him right there. Six Path Moderator has damage reduction. Well, it doesn't really matter who you stall with. You're gonna heal more than you get damage, so it doesn't even matter. So yeah, we'll do this, and then you'll stall. All right, so now that you've gotten all your chakra back, uh, you're gonna go ahead and kill this Naruto off and go on to the next map. Now, two things. You want to start on the first Wisdom Madara. So you wanna kill him with uh, your uh, six path Madara. You wanna kill him with this one. Um, and another thing, you can do the nuking tactic. And that's pretty much where you um, you boost your Madaras up to 150 with two Gengos or two, uh, two uh, Blazing Bash Naruto's. 
And I mean, that's cool and all. That's actually a good tactic. But I know a lot of people don't have two Blazing Bash Naruto's. Or a lot of people don't have two Gengos. Or vice versa, whatever the case may be. So that's why I'm showing you this way. Now, like I said, you can do the nuking tactic. Uh, I mean, it's all the choice of what you want to do. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and kill this Naruto off. And see, we should be killing him on Madara. This should kill. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, it's fine. Uh, oh, well, it doesn't matter. All right, so we're going to go ahead and keep going. Now, like I said, you want to end on Madara, but, I mean, it's not that big a deal if you don't. So now I'm going to, I'm going to ult everybody. I'm just going to nuke everybody down. You want to um, just get people out of the way, right? As fast as possible. So uh, we'll do that. You just want to get them out of the way as fast as possible. Now, uh, I'm going to use Naruto's so that we could potentially keep Kakashi alive. Because you do want to stall, but you do want to get two of them out of the way as quick as possible. So... To do that, you're going to need to ult them. Alright, so can I get just... No, I can't because this is vast range. Alright, uh, we'll do this because uh, Kakashi skill, so he, he has damage reduction. And then we'll use... We'll use Madara. Alright, so we can go ahead and stall on Kakashi, and then we'll get into the last map, and I'll show you guys everything we do there. Alright, so we're on the third map now. Now, um, I just remembered, the reason why I don't prefer the nuking tactic is because when Killer B does the 8 tail twists, he um, takes away all of your buffs. So if you have, um, you know, attack ups or anything, he takes that all away. So the nuking method is very risky to do um, whenever... Pretty much whenever, like, he can take those away. So it's not a guaranteed method. Uh, so what we're going to go ahead and do here. Uh, the, safe, the safe zone is down here in this corner. I believe um, whenever he does the Bijudama, you're safe. And then here. Let me, boom. When, he, when he does the Bijudama, you're safe. And when he does the A-Tail Twist, one of your units is safe. So... that and yeah so long story short you just keep doing this i have damage reduction like see look right here you don't get hit at all uh now i'm probably gonna get hit here but it's fine because i'm trying to get my damage off yeah eight tail twist see now look at all that damage i just took so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is come back in this corner and hopefully if he does eight tail twist i'm dead but he'll most likely do bijudama See? Oh, he does beat you, Dama. See? So if I had no damage reduction, I'd be dead. If I had no damage reduction, I would be dead right now. So, uh, yeah, you can go ahead and stall in this corner if you need to. And, um, he does beat you, Dama, more times than he does a tail Twist. It is random. So, like, it is random, but... Over all the videos I've seen and over all the times I've done this raid, he does beat you down more than he does a tail twist, which is really good. It gives you a really big chance for you to just heal up, uh, which I, I'm really happy they do. So yeah. So uh, yeah, I'll, and I mean like the like I said, the back row you don't want to have them out much at all because they're not giving you any damage reduction. All they're giving you is um, all they're giving you is healing. So, I know it's going to take a while, but just keep the top three in and just constantly heal, heal, heal. And then over time, you will get all your HP back, you get all your juices back, and you have to continuously do that over and over and over. So, uh, I'm going to do this, which is kind of risky, but eh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I won't die, especially if he does a uh, BG Bomb. So, uh, I'm not too worried. La famous last word for him. Alright, so boom. Yeah, so. Now, um, you see how this is a one turn? Whenever it's the one turn, it's a tail twist. Whenever it's three turns, it's Biju Dama. Now, obviously, you won't know until it happens, but yeah. So, see all the damage reduction I have? Really good. Right now, it's going to be a Biju Dama. And 
and, and I'm, like I said, it's, it's not that hard at all. Really good thing about Six Path Madara is that uh, he can do his ult from down here. So that's really good. So uh, I'm pretty much gonna speed this up, and then uh, we'll get closer. Like once we get towards the end, uh, I'll like come back because I mean, there's no point in just showing this. Like y'all see the game plan, y'all see the method, y'all see everything I'm doing. It's pretty much self-explanatory. So I'll see you guys back whenever we beat it. All right, so we're about to go ahead and beat the mission, as you can see. Now look at the boot. Look how much damage this Madara does, right? Max Duke, right? He does 53,000. Max Duke, 53,000. Now look how much damage my Madara does, no dudes. He does 53,000. My Madara does 75,000. And that's because of the increase to uh, the Jutsus and everything like that. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you beat the mission. Not too crazy, not too hard, just stay at the bottom. Uh, you should heal enough if you have enough damage reduction. If you have enough damage reduction, you should heal enough to not die or anything like that. Um, yeah, so... Uh, that's gonna be about it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.